Our theme, I guess our, our, our motto uh, for our culture is uncommon. Um, and that's, uh, you know, we want to be known for doing things that are the hard thing to do. We, our style of play, how we relate to each other, how we interact with the community, how we serve, uh, how we carry ourselves just publicly. Um, you know, we want to be different. We don't want to be normal, easy, regular. We want to be different in that regard. And we want to be uncommon. And so I think our, our um, I try to be very intentional about focusing on our relationships with each other and that connection. Uh, again, having a lot of guys that just met each other a few weeks ago, you know, months ago, whatever, um, you know, it, it, you have to be intentional about getting to know each other. It, it is forced, but basketball season's five months. We, we have a short time frame where we have to get to know each other and invest into each other. Um, the good thing is we, we don't have any seniors, so if all goes well and everything you know, moves according to how I'd like to see it happen, we've got all these guys returning next year. And so we have a chance this year to really lay a foundation for, for one, our culture, and two, for you know, just those relationships moving forward uh, you know, in the years to come. Um, so that's pretty much what we're trying to establish and what we're trying to, uh, to do off the court, you know, away from practice. Two of the returners that have been just just impressed me from day one is uh, DK Sumo and TC Ellis, and um, those guys. I mean, anybody on campus in the community, anybody who's ever coached them before, you just you just know how great they are. Um, they're just high character kids. Uh, they love doing the right thing. They bring a ton of energy. They focus on details, and and I think that really has earned them very quickly the respect and trust of their teammates, um, which is why you know they were named captains, etc. And um, you know, we, we've been able to build a relationship pretty, pretty quickly. Um, and again, that, that goes, that's a credit to them and their character and how hard they work and what they brought to the table. Um, you know, like I said, and so those two have, have stood out as far as that's concerned, as far as leadership is concerned, but we, we have a few transfers. I mean, we've got a couple other junior transfers that have, you know, the talented players. And I think, you know, they have a chance to contribute and they're they're buying in they're doing their best to try to get to know a new coach and a new way of doing things in a different system and so a couple of two-year transfers a couple of four-year transfers and um yeah so we've got a good good group of juniors that i think um should all be able to contribute at a pretty high level so the sack is i mean it's arguably the toughest conference in NAIA basketball um we our, our league puts four or five teams in the national tournament i mean you look over the last five six seven eight years i mean every year there's at least three, four, or five teams going to the national tournament. Um, it's a high-level competition. I mean, last year we had six teams won 20 games or more, and so and, and one of those teams didn't even make the national tournament. That's how good this league is. And so, yeah, I mean, we've got 20 conference games, and there there are no easy ones. There are no easy ones. The team that's at the bottom last year can beat anybody in our league, and they, they have. Um, I know that uh, going into this, I, I knew that this was going to be a challenge, and so I had to one, I had to identify players that would fit you know, our culture and, and what we're all about, but they have to be good enough to compete in this, this level. Um, I think we've got good players. I think we've got, uh, again, like I said, versatility. We got guys that can play multiple positions and do a lot of different things. And that's, that's really valuable to me as a coach on the floor is just your versatility, being able to defend multiple positions, be able to play multiple positions on offense. And so I think with our length and our athleticism and our versatility, I mean, we, we have a shot to compete in this, in this conference, absolutely. Like I told my guys from day one, um, we, are, we are going to live out our culture. We're going to live out our values no matter what. And I want to win. I'm a competitor. I want to win everything, every drill. I play darts, you know, play pool, play board games with my family. I want to win everything. But I'm not going to sacrifice my character or the character or culture of our program in order to win. I'm not going to do it. And so that means a high level of accountability, and that means a high standard of excellence. And uh, I think the guys have all embraced that. And so my expectations are we're, that's who we're going to be. That's what we're going to do. Um, how good we can be or how many games we can win, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out here coming up pretty soon. But um, no matter what, we're not going to sacrifice or compromise our character um, to win games. We're going to do the right thing as often as we possibly can and, and learn from it when we don't.